and welcome to vlog 27 can you believe it i've vlogged for like 27 weeks ish some of them are just kind of a conglomeration of conglomeration is that even did i even say that right uh of a bunch of weeks which i'm just gonna kind of start doing vlogs as i have enough material because sometimes they're like too short and there's just nothing and there's no cohesive storyline i like to have a little bit of like a, a concept or storyline to it anyway I just finished doing this look for a dramatic Valentine's Day look, and yeah, this is Tuesday. Yesterday was just a adulting day again. We had the diagnostics around the computer. We got the its diagnosis sent off in the you know quote how much oh, I stabbed myself. How much it would cost to repair and all that to insurance, and they've already cut us a check for the roof and all the damages. It is not that much, but. We'll make her work. And uh, what else happened yesterday? Finished our taxes yesterday. Like so many adult things. We had a delicious Mediterranean meal. And then we had sushi for dinner. Uh, so yeah, we had like cheat day as far as food goes. So today we're back on the healthy train. I'm still drinking a smoothie that I made for lunch. And it is four o'clock because I I drink so slow. Like I do, I drink them so slow there's no point like it's not even drinking a meal, it's just taking me forever to like finish it. Anyway, Funny is running around. She was trying to squeak through my video, so I took her toy. This is her like indestructible squeaker hedgehog thing. She's made look like holes on either side of it. And she has to tear up the squeaker yet though. Uh, she loves to get super loud with this because it has like the loudest squeaker ever. And of course she decides to squeak as I am trying to do my outro. And she's like, oh, squeak time. Something fun should be coming up soon with my hair though, which I'm excited about. Uh, so far, so good. I'm thinking that I'm gonna get to work with Overtone again, which I'm really, really excited about. I loved working with them the first time. So yeah, that's exciting. And hopefully I get to work with Discount Glasses again. Uh, that's about it for this week. Like nothing exciting's happened yet. It's just a really, a work week. I think I'm going to go get groceries this evening. You know, all fixed up for Walmart. What can I say? I bring the glam everywhere I go. What would Walmart do without me? <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's all that's really going on this week so far. Anything fun happens, I will keep you posted. Okay. See, I, I did not go to Walmart. <laughs> we actually just went and grabbed dinner and I stopped by CVS because I was looking for the e.l.f. new camo concealer, like the dewy one or whatever it's called. Because online it said they had them in stock in my location. They did not have them in stock in my location because my CVS sucks. It is like the worst. They never stock new stuff. But they did actually have some new stuff stocked. I know. Crazy, right? And so I got, I picked up a few things while I was in there. First thing boring is just some lash glue because I need some new lash glue. Mine was getting all nasty and gummed up and gross. I also grabbed another little elf blender brush because I love these little eye, eye buffer, or yeah, eye blender. These are just nice little brushes. They're the uh, little taper ones I use all the time just because they're easy yeah they're not the most like amazing brush in the world but they're really good to have on hand and they're like 99 cents so it's nice to have like multiples of them so you can just really or every day they're good good stuff i like the tapered tip on them uh what else did i get uh let's move on to something else from elf i got the um dewy set mist which or dewy setting spray which i feel like might be like kind of like the tatcha dewy Spray, so we're gonna, let's, let's give a little test here. Give it a shake. Oh, let me get it going. Oh, that's a sprayer. Ooh, that's got some force behind it. It's not the finest mist in the world. It smells kind of coconutty. Oh yeah, three pumps is all you need of that. Goodness gracious, I am <laughs> soaked. But yeah, I'm, we're gonna try that out and see how she goes. I usually use the Milani or the L'Oreal Shake and Glow, so we're going to try that one. Uh, what else did I get here? I got from Wet n Wild, the new Dewy Foundation in Porcelain, which I really want to try because I was not a fan of the one in the, right, the original formula, but I love the stick foundation because it's good for drier skin types. So we're going to give this one a try. Also in the foundation department, another radiant one. We got the Dream Radiant Liquid from Maybelline. This has hyaluronic acid and collagen. 
Okay, and also from Wet n Wild, I spot a couple new little thingies. Uh, let's talk about this. Highlighter. These little double highlighters. It's called a blush and highlighter palette. Also, I want to note that their package is, the packaging is feeling a little more substantial than what it used to. Like, it, this feels a little thicker. This plastic doesn't seem quite as thin. I'm like, it doesn't feel like I could break it. Because that's one thing I have, problem I have with their little compacts, I break them. But it's usually at the hinge. So hopefully this one might stand up a little better. It feels a little sturdier than their previous packaging. I'm gonna get a little finger swatch here into the peachy shade. It's probably way too shiny to be a blush. Oh, definitely not a blush. But I think it'll be a nice blush topper and kind of I can mix it in with the highlighter. Okay, let's see the highlight shade. Ooh, very pretty. You, you probably can't see anything from on my pan from that. Okay, last thing I got was the Mega Last from Wet n Wild Mega Last Stained Glass Lip Gloss. I got it in this kind of mauve shade. Let's see, what is she called? Can I read that? Oh my god. Handle with Care. Jesus Christ, that was in tiny font. I have no idea what this really is. I imagine it's gonna leave a stain behind. Oh, this is a pretty color. I couldn't really see, oh, CVS is like dark as hell, so you can't see anything in there. I hate my CVS, so I mentioned that. Oh, this is a nice color though. Just to give you an idea how crappy the lighting in my CVS is, I thought this was like a nude, <laughs> a neutral shade. It's like a nice berry, but yeah, it's pretty. It's very, yeah, it definitely like stains your lips. It kind of stays, but even though it does transfer, it kind of stays on your lips too, so it's nice. Yeah, it feels really good on the lips. So yeah, that is all. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here and show you what I bought. And yeah, we'll be testing out some new products tomorrow. Yay! Actually, I actually have a lot of first impressions to do tomorrow. I have the Sassy CNS palette from Dose of Colors I want to play with. Foundation. But yeah, tomorrow's going to be a busy little filming day. to Ulta today because oh, I needed some new eye brushes and wanted to get some. Just a minute. I had to take her squeaker toy from her for a minute because she just said, oh, you, you picked up your camera. I'm going to squeak like crazy. Anyway, I'm also testing out foundation today. I think it's looking pretty damn good. Anyway, as much as I'm not the hugest James Charles fan, he does have a nice little brush set with Morphe and I need some eye brushes and I wanted just a set and have them all together so I picked that up today and while I was in there I saw the display for the new NYX high glass stuff so I got the finishing powder in the shade light which is probably gonna be a hair too dark for me but it's pretty sheer so I think it'll be okay and I also got the highlighter because it looks really pretty in the swatch like it looked warm, but not so warm that it would look weird on me. So yeah, I got some goodies. I think I'm gonna do a little, maybe first impression or something or review with these. And I'm quite excited to play with these brushes. I'm gonna go ahead and get them out of the little container here. This is also a really nice little container. Not bad. It was at $60, I think. And how many brushes came in here? 13 piece? Yeah, I think this is actually a really nice little brush set because it's kind of like all the brushes that I tend to reach for, like the styles. And I have a couple more Morphe brushes that I've purchased separately that I really enjoy. This looks really pretty. I am looking forward to giving it a go. It reminds me of maybe like something like an hourglass finishing powder. Hey, heck yeah. This dresser is going to be the new background in my videos once I get her refinished. My friend was trying to get rid of this because she is Airbnb in her house and it needed a home and she's like you can have it and I was like hell yeah because mid-century antiques are right up my alley. Ignore my mess. <laughs> but yeah it's got these like side pulls here to open this top drawer and I mean there's hardly any damage to it structurally. It's in fantastic shape. 
So I'm gonna refinish this and yeah, it's gonna be in our background. Damage, I'm actually pretty good at refinishing furniture. I enjoy it. But I love this drawer, the second one. And these glide out super easy, but it's got dividers. How great will this be for like makeup storage and stuff for the studio? I am really tickled about this. Okay, so it's Thursday before Mardi Gras Ball. I figured I'd start vlogging. Yesterday we spent in urgent care because Ross has the flu, apparently. And I don't know how I don't have the flu, but I don't. <laughs> and yeah, I've just got my normal allergy stuff. But we thought that's all he had was like allergies that kind of kept getting worse. And I was like, well, maybe it turned into a sinus infection like it did last time. Because I think in December, we were at urgent care with him with a sinus infection. Well, so they, he was wheezing and just a lot of just not feeling good, running a fever, all that kind of stuff. So they did flu test, chest x-ray, and all that to test, see if he had pneumonia or what was going on. Turns out he had has the flu, no pneumonia, thank goodness. They did do a breathing treatment and he's got a ton of medicine to take. They did a new kind of Tamiflu type of thing. They gave him a Z pack just in case he had sinus infections going on too, because he's never really gotten fully better from that. And they have cough medicine, an inhaler. There's the pharmacy didn't give us though, but luckily he's feeling a heck of a lot better today, so he doesn't need it. Oh, and he also has a steroid shot. You can tell his nose is clearing up, and he actually is feeling so much better. He's taking a nap right now, finally. He stayed up all night because the steroids make him so hyper. Uh, anyway, like he tried to sleep, which is what happened. But yeah, I'm testing out the uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation today. And my god, I am in love with that. I'm just a little bit cakey right here because I just said a dry patch right now because of my nose ring. It's hard to like scrub around there and like exfoliate it. So that one little patch is kind of dry. But I mean, Look at this glow. I mean, some of this is highlighter, obviously, but my natural glow is coming through, and this is a beautiful foundation, and like, the absolute perfect shade match. I'm amazed. Like, hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we just got back from Ulta, and, uh, well, he dropped me off at Ulta, and stopped by a coffee shop, and I got a cup of coffee because... I gotta stay up for doing a full day wear test of this. And I've been up since 9 o'clock last night, I think. And it is 11 o'clock the next day. And I'm trying to make it till at least 5 p.m. <laughs> I can already feel myself getting sleepy. No, stay awake, stay awake. Yeah, all I want to do is take a nap right <laughs> now. Oh, look at. I uh, touched up my roots. I think I did a pretty good job. I kind of. I'm gonna drag the color down a little too far right there, but I think it looks alright. But yeah, my roots actually match and things look fairly decent hair-wise now and I don't have three inch long golden blonde roots that just clashed with this color and like, not bad. And yet, yeah, curls for days over here. Look at this. Well, curly-ish, more of a wavy texture. I don't know what this curl pattern is, like what it's categorized as or whatever, but I definitely got some curl now. I also tinted my eyebrows last night. Oh, look at these brows. There's not much product in them. That's brow tint, and yeah, I just kind of filled in the bald patches today and put some volumizing brow mascara through them. I've been doing castor oil treatment in them, and I didn't realize how thick they had gotten. But all my brow hair is like white, so you don't even see it unless it's tinted. It's, woo, girl. Hello. Hello, Jennifer Conley brows. I'll take it. Thank you. Heck yeah, I'm gonna tint my brows way more often. <laughs> I just never bother with it. I, uh, I just. I was getting. Myself kind of fancy because we got the ball this weekend. I'm praying I don't get the flu. <laughs> so I'm not having any symptoms, and I figured by now, and according to Google, I should have the flu. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I should already have it and like be showing symptoms of it. 
you know, and it was just its normal stuffy allergy self. And God, can you not get this foundation? I'm staring at it. Anyway, that's all that's going on today. I think I'm gonna do some editing and try to stay awake. Good morning. It is Monday morning. I just wanted to do a little outro for this vlog to explain like a lot of the random footage that's in here. It's, oh, I didn't really have time to, like, to fully like talk and vlog because there's a lot of people in and out and whew, I look a hot mess. I know. I literally slept like 18 hours yesterday. To be fair, I pulled an all-nighter. Like I was up for 24 hours <laughs> the day of the Mardi Gras ball. So I got three that morning and probably didn't go to bed until we should about four or five in the morning. I think we actually got home around 1.32. But yeah, that was so much fun. I don't, I mean, that was probably one of the most fun events I've ever gone to. And didn't drink or anything, like, you know, sober, totally sober. But I had a blast like I was drinking. Like I got there, I danced. My feet are killing me, my ankles hurt, my back hurts, my everything hurts, but it's so worth it to dance and have fun and dress up and just feel like a princess. It was a really fun event just getting to see the all the court come out and the band was really good and just the dresses, oh my gosh, seeing everybody's dresses was so fun. Of course we all had a few minor wardrobe malfunctions before we even got there. See, we, I did my makeup here and filmed it, and then I did my friend's makeup, and then we went to the hotel and got dressed in our friend's hotel room. And see, my dress ended up being like two feet too long, it felt like, like it was way too long to use my heels. That's all I got small mall heels. And <laughs> the boobs were like too big, yet like I was falling out of it because like my boobs were big, like it was, a very complicated situation and took a few safety pants to get things sorted out in the girl region but we got it there and my prop is finally not showing and yeah it was so fun getting dressed up though and i had to constantly carry my skirt like i think the majority of us though skirts were too long for our dresses were too long so it wasn't too big a deal and of course right after the court ends and the formal stuff shoes were off dancing there was an open bar so you can only imagine how that got, right? It got wild. Like, I don't think I've ever seen so many drunk people in my life. It was so funny. <laughs> like, it, it was just lots of just happy, fun, silliness everywhere. Like, no, there was no drama. Nobody's mad at one another. There was no one aggravated or grumpy. Just everybody was just having a blast. And 
yeah, it was great vibes all around. But they had great live music, so we, you know, got up and danced in and out outside and hanging out, talking to everybody. Ran to two people I went to high school with that I haven't seen in like 12 years or longer. One's moved away, the other one's been in the military off all over the world. So it was really cool to see them again and talk to them because there were people that was like close to in high school. We just lost, you know, touch. Like, these are actually people I've gone to school with since first grade. Like that kind of old school friends. And so it was really nice to see them both. And they look great and they're doing great and I'm so happy for them. And yeah, at 11 at night they serve breakfast, which was really cool. So we had eggs and bacon and coffee and stuff. I was more excited about coffee because I'd just been drinking Diet Coke all night. I was like, yeah, yes, coffee. And I was so tired. <laughs> and then, yeah, I think the ball ends about, ended about 11, no, 12. And after that, it there was after party at the hotel rooms. Where everybody just bounces around from room to room like you know friend groups or whatever because there's the crew is pretty huge like it's there was hundreds of people there it felt like so the party ended up being in the hallway on the first floor i feel so sorry for anybody that was staying in that hotel that didn't wasn't a part of the crew because oh my goodness one of my friends like actually knocked on someone's door because she thought it was somebody <laughs> the crew and it was just this woman like what you know what time i gotta get the morning She's like, I'm so sorry, I thought you were part of the crew, I was going to see if you want a drink. <laughs> One of our friends decorated her hotel room, like, full on. It didn't even look like a hotel room, it looked like a party. Like, she had a full spread of snacks, gumbo, everything. And, yeah, I got footage of us all out in the hallway, just sitting, like a bunch of little kids, goofing off. And, oh my goodness, there's music playing, like, it was wild. In the manager or the night person at the hotel, she's just like, Y'all have fun, just try to keep it down. Like, <laughs> just she just was like washing her hands of it, unless it got too out of control. But and we left around like, yeah, 1 32 ish and got home. And I was like, Oh my god, I'm so exhausted. It was at that point of being so tired that I didn't even know, like, you get like your third, fourth wind, but you're just goofy feeling I'm like, Oh god. So, yeah, it's bad and slept until about, I don't know what time I got up. I think I got up like at four in the afternoon. And no, it was later because it was nighttime when I got up. Cause then I'm waking up and it was dark. And I was like, oh my God, where am I? What am I? What time is it? And, and yeah, I was like, I want a case reader from Taco Bell and I want to go back to bed. So that's what I did. We went and got some Taco Bell and I passed right back out and slept until, like 2 a.m. and then we went and got donuts and coffee this morning and now it is 8 in the morning and I'm just now editing this vlog and I was like oh I better put a little clip in there and talk a little bit about what how everything went because it was so fun makeup everything was pretty smooth like there's no hiccups like aside from my friend having some issues with her dress because the zipper decided to come off its track and not even work but luckily somebody brought her a dress other people had like extra dresses just in case stuff like that happened and uh yeah i think me and lila are kind of thinking about joining the crew next year just as for something to do see if we like it because it looks really fun they do a luau they do a christmas party a halloween party and then the big ball and i think some few things in between where they kind of like raise money and stuff and they do like a float for the parade i assume and I want to see what it all entails and how much money you gotta put up for it first. But yeah, I just uh, washed my hair though this morning. I'm gonna do the overtone purple for brown hair in it in a minute. And uh, new glasses again. Yes, more new glasses. <laughs> These are from um, from Discount Glasses. They are from the brand West Elm. But I want something a little different, a little sportier, I guess, or casual. I really like them. I think they're really cool and kind of futuristic looking. So yeah, I'm gonna go finish up this vlog and get it posted and then we're gonna go color hair and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay spooky. Bye now.